Alrighty, good morning everybody. Hello and welcome and apologies. The stream volume was a little bit louder than it should have been. Uh, last night we had a two-hour Morrowind stream. <laughs> For whatever reason, original Xbox games when emulated on the Xbox One have a really, really low volume. So I had to up the stream uh, volume a lot, quite a lot. Uh, but when I did that, it uh, you know artificially inflated everything. And since we're doing normal stuff this morning... Um, Accidentally, the volume was too loud. So apologies if that music was too loud for you. I just adjusted the volume appropriately, so the stream should be good for today. So what's up, everyone? Welcome. It's the 8th of March. There's a lot going on today. I mean, seriously, there's a lot going on today. First of all, in the United States, today is daylight saving time. That's right. It's daylight saving time, not daylight savings time. Some people say savings. I don't know why, but it's daylight saving time here in the USA, and that means that our clocks sprung forward an hour overnight. That also means we lost an hour of sleep, which sucks, because I definitely lost an hour of sleep. I'm feeling a little bit groggy this morning, trying to wake up here, so I hope you guys uh, are all here and enjoying the stream. Undoubtedly, what's going to happen is people are going to show up in an hour and be like, what's going on? And we're like, yeah, we, we started streaming an hour ago. Uh, you know, and this is going to be like this moving forward until the fall again, when the clocks fall back again. We all hate it. We all agree, uh, that it makes no sense to do this anymore. It's just confusing as hell. It doesn't help anything. <clears throat> Why we can't have one consistent time, I have no idea. All right. But, uh, that's right now. Yeah, we, uh, that happened overnight. Okay. Very annoying. In addition, today's International Women's Day. Which is a day when I guess we're supposed to uh, say thanks to women for what they do. Respect women. Honor women. I mean, I do that every day. But I guess for some people who don't do that, they need to have a special day for it. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, as you know, I'm not really a proponent of all these special days at all. It seems like every day is a special day. You know, when it's not a major day, like a major uh, recognized holiday throughout the world... Then it's usually a national holiday instead. If it's not a national holiday, then it's some kind of a minor local ho or, or minor local holiday. And if it's not, then it's like you know, uh, international peanut butter and banana sandwiches day or something. You know, it, 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 to me, it's this simple. Okay, when every day is something special, it's not special at all anymore. You know, like the reason a holiday is a holiday is because you're supposed to do something special and take time out from it being a normal day. But when every single day is made into something special, uh, I don't think it's so special anymore. All right? I think women should be respected and honored every single day. Why we need one day that we set aside for it makes no sense to me. I'm com confusing to me, but I don't know. I guess some people just don't care about women until International Women's Day. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. So anyway, shout out to the women's. Right? All right. There you go. Uh, so now continuing on. <clears throat> um, I we have a, a minor <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> oh my god, yeah! I woke up this morning pretty gunked up as well. I already sneezed this morning. I'm noticing I'm starting to sneeze a little bit more often. I think it's because uh, it's getting warmer here and spring is happening, and some things are starting to bloom outside. So with the pollen and everything in effect, it's going to start affecting my sinuses and everything even more, which means that yuck. I'm going to be all gunked up, which sucks. <clears throat> okay. Um, sorry about that. Obviously, you guys don't want to hear that, but what can I do, right? Um, so, in regards to the streams, guys, we've got an update. <clears throat> I would like to take a moment away from all of the uh, seriousness of the stream. To Well, I guess this is a serious thing. I want to say thank you. To that Anonymous for the last, uh, you know, two years or so, where he has been a moderator for the streams, he has helped out significantly. <clears throat> I'm sure many of you who are stream regulars and regular viewers and attendees know who that Anonymous is. Um, officially, he will be, as of, you know, the end of today, stepping down as a full-time moderator to move on to other endeavors. Now, he will still be here from time to time to moderate when he feels like doing it, but he is not going to commit to being here full-time consistently and that is perfectly fine um and uh you know i just want to say thank you to him 
for all the help that he has lent on the streams. He's been a positive influence. He has helped out. He is well liked as a moderator, and he will be missed. You know, not being around all the time. Um, so that being said, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking, hopefully, for some people who maybe want to step up and help out moderating. Now, I'm not expecting anyone to step up and jump in as a full time moderator at all. What I'd like, I mean, ideal situation here would be maybe we could find like two people who want to do like part time moderating and can help out. <clears throat> um, that would be nice. Now, first of all, Straight Cash Homie has been a moderator now on a trial basis for about two weeks. It was actually roughly two weeks ago when he jumped on and helped with the marathon that we did. Um, in general, the feedback I received about Straight Cash Homie is very, very positive that when he's here, he's a good mod and people like him. However, he's not here all the time, and he wasn't expected to be here all the time. He actually was set up as someone who was supposed to be here, you know, part-time a few times a week when he's available. <clears throat> and by the way, Straight Cash Homie was brought on as a temporary uh, trial mod before we even knew that that Anonymous was going to be stepping down. So, what I'd say is, Straight Cash Homie's good stuff, two thumbs up, but, you know, he's not going to be able to fill the shoes of that Anonymous. He can't be here that often. All right? So, here's the deal. Here's what I'm looking for. People who, number one, are regular stream attendees, okay? You're here all the time. You like watching my content, and uh, you know the ins and outs of, you know, how it works. You know the vibe that I like to maintain on my stream, etc. You're a prime candidate then. Number two, you have to be someone who can commit to actually being here a few times a week. It's nice that you have the sentiment that you want to be a mod, but if you can't commit to being here you know, a few days a week, then what's the point? <clears throat> See what I mean? I'm not going to give mod powers to someone who can't even, who, no commitment of being being here. Uh, it wouldn't make sense. Okay? Um, in addition to that, please understand that it is not, a, does not have to be a full-time thing. Don't think that you have to be here all the time. I'm just saying, if you can commit to being here, say, ah, I could be here three days a week, part-time, you know, help out. That's great. Hey, it's better than nothing, right? Um, so... If that sounds like it's like you, you're a regular stream attendee, you like the content, you kind of get the vibe of the stream, you're here at least a few times a week if you commit to being here and moderating, <clears throat> what I need you to do is email me, all right, at darksidephil.hotmail.com. I need you to include the, the following information. Number one, your name. Number two, your Twitch name, all right? Number three, the dates and times that you think you'll be available to help moderate. Not, oh, I could be here like twice a week. That's great. But when, at what times, you know, uh, I need to know for coverage wise who could be here when. Okay. And uh, send me all your info. I'll be very honest with all of you. If I recognize your name, if you're a stream regular who I have a lot of interaction with in chat, and you're someone who I kind of at least can kind of trust as someone who I could talk with in the stream, chances are you have a much increased chance of becoming a trial moderator. Versus someone who I don't have no idea who you are. You're just a stream lurker who never talks. So I have no idea if you're trustworthy or not. You see what I mean? <clears throat> so, for those who uh, are interested, email me at darksidefieldhotmail.com. Give me your Twitch name. Tell me when you're available uh, to moderate. And I'm going to take in all, uh, all considerations. I'll think about it probably for a few days. And I'll get back to people. Now... One thing, I want people to, to know something. Number one, if you've sent me an application like this in the past and you basically did not become a moderator, do, don't feel like you can't do it again. I get so many emails. Like, I'll be honest, there were a few people who actually was considering um, making a mod who had already previously contacted me. And I kind of was like, okay, let's give Straight Cash Homie a chance first. Let's see how this goes. And I don't know where the rest of the emails went. Okay, being honest here. So, for those of you who maybe have applied already and didn't hear back, please email me again with the information so that way I can I can review everything at once. Sit down and review everything at once collectively rather than just being confused and scratching my head of, gee, did someone already apply and they're expecting me to find this email from a month ago or whatever, you know? Um, <clears throat> another thing, FYI, uh, you know, this is free. This is, you know, I don't have any money to pay out. This is volunteer work, obviously. Not a single mod has ever gotten paid anything to do their work here on my streams. Um, you guys know my financial situation. I wish I could do something for you. I can't. Um, it's more of, wow, I love the streams. I want them to be a good place to hang out. I want to keep the nonsense and trolling out of here. 
so that everyone can have a good time and I, I'm already here, so I might as well volunteer my time to help out, right? That's really what it's about, okay? Now, the other thing, if long-term, all right, you end up being a consistent moderator and you end up being someone who's trustworthy, I'll probably consider taking you on as a permanent mod. And what I mean by that is, you know, basically get you in contact with the other mods. We'll have a, we have a little bit of a, a way that we communicate behind the scenes to talk about moderator uh, actions and stream goings on and things like that. Um, and that's possible, you know, if you become a long-term moderator, we'll get you into that grouping and, you know, it basically gets a little bit more serious then because then we can schedule out exactly when you're on the streams and coverage-wise and everything, okay? So, um, <clears throat> what I would say is Straight Cash Homie's done a great job as a, t a trial mod, but he hasn't really been here that consistently, or at least if he has been, uh, you know, it's hard for me to notice. So, that's why if you're wondering, gee, why Straight Cash Homie's been a mod for two weeks, is he a permanent mod yet? Not yet. I'm going to see what happens. He's been doing a great job, but he's not here all the time. So let's see what happens with that, okay? So, one final time. Thank you very much, That Anonymous. It's been a couple years he's been a moderator here on my streams and has helped out consistently, you know, whenever he's available. Um, Well-liked. Did a great job. Respect the guy. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your help. Everyone here on the streams owes you a debt of gratitude. Um, You know, and... I hope that, you know, moving on, the fact that you're not going to be able to be a full-time mod anymore, I hope that, you know, uh, I wish you luck in whatever endeavors you are uh, uh, moving on to. And uh, thank you very much for everything. We, we will still see that not a mouse from time to time. But this doesn't mean, oh, I'm never coming to streams ever again. What it means is that he's going to pop in from time to time and he'll help when he can, but he's not committing to being here full-time anymore, okay? <clears throat> okay? Fair enough, guys. All right. <coughs> All right, let's continue on, guys. Sorry, a little bit of little bit of business to attend to, right? Okay. So, um, before we get into the schedule and everything, I just want to say thanks, guys. Your support the last few days has been great. As you guys can see, if you look at the top of the screen, a lot of subs came in, man. This is great. A lot of subs have come in. We are getting very close to hitting the subscriber goal. In fact, last night we were very close. We were only like five subs away last night. But then overnight we dipped some. So we're only 12 subscriptions away from hitting our monthly subscriber goal. If we hit 675 concurrent subs, we're going to be doing a viewer's choice event. All right? Last viewer's choice was Donkey Kong 64, which a lot of you really like. So just throwing it out there. We're very close. If you haven't subbed yet, maybe you want to consider doing it. All right? I would love to hit that sub goal sooner rather than later, and that way we can focus on, you know, actually getting the event set up and everything working rather than, uh, you know, oh, no, we need another handful of subs to hit it or whatever, okay? So there you go. Um, all right, let's talk about the schedule. Let's talk about what we're, go what we're up to in the next week or so because it's a pretty interesting week. We got a good balance of new content, ongoing playthroughs, and the like. So today... Mass Effect 2 continuing on, everyone. I'm excited because I really like this playthrough. And it's been a few days now, I think. So I'm trying to think the last time I played it was earlier this week. Um, I've been waiting to come back to it. Because now we're heading into a good part of it. <clears throat> and I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for more Mass Effect. Um, so what's it going to be? It's going to be uh, more Ilium. This is, this is the, the planet where you recruit multiple people. But also there's a lot of side content. And... This, in particular, is where you start the Shadow Broker DLC. And that's actually what we're going to be focusing on today. I've decided, let's do the Shadow Broker DLC, because that's the first DLC really available in the mainstream stuff that we've been doing here in the, in the, the game. If you remember my original playthrough of Mass Effect 2 10 years ago, the DLCs were not available at launch. So I played through the entirety of the game within like two weeks, not even. I think it was like a week. And... I didn't get to any of the DLC integrated into the game at all because it wasn't available. Now, later on, the DLCs were made possible, and I played them and enjoyed them, but kind of a moot point doing them after the fact when you've already beaten the game, right? So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing the, the Shadow Broker DLC today. I, if I remember correctly, it's about two to three hours long, so it could end up being kind of the entirety of the stream, which is perfectly fine if it is. Um... I don't remember what you get as rewards for the DLC. I don't particularly remember. 
oh, this is like a great weapon or a great upgrade you get. I don't remember that at all. I just remember it being pretty interesting with the story and everything. Um, so, this should be pretty good to see how this integrates while doing it during the campaign of the game. And if we get anything significant that'll help us out during the rest of the campaign or not. So, yes, that's what we're focusing on today. Finishing up the stuff at, uh, you know, on Ilium and the Shadow Broker, Shadow Broker DLC. Blah, 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 blah. Marbles in my mouth. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, let's see what happens. Let's see how this goes today. Okay, guys, it should be a good stream. I'm excited for it. Later tonight, we're going to be doing more Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. But don't worry, because some people have been a little bit peeved because it took three major streams to beat the RPG mode of the game, which is the major story mode of the game. It was necessary for me to do that because in order to unlock one of the characters that are playable in the game, you actually have to beat the RPG mode. So I had to get through that regardless, even if you didn't want to see it. And, oh, I want Phil to play the game's other modes and maybe do competitive play. Well, guess what? I needed to play through RPG mode to unlock a character anyway. It was kind of required, okay? So, um, yes. The truth of the matter is, yes, I understand. It was three major streams and people are a little bit bored, but it's over now, okay? So later tonight on the late stream, what are we doing? What we're going to do is we're going to jump into the game and see what else is available because the game does have a lot of content. <clears throat> it's got this thing called the Tower of Babel. I don't even know what the hell that is, okay? I, I, I don't even understand what it is. So we're going to try that. Um, it's got an arcade mode, okay, which is classic arcade, where you play through against, a, you know, a variety of opponents, and it has an ending and everything. It also, I know, has, like, trials, challenges to learn stuff with characters. So we're probably going to check all that out tonight. We're going to see what content exactly is available in the game outside of the story mode, all right? Um, you know, my intention is to immerse myself in a little bit more into the game and actually do one-on-one -on -one combat. The problem with the story mode is that you're doing a lot of combat against little minions, but because the screen allows you to turn around in place and move back and forth, it really isn't reminiscent, or, or actually, it's representative, not reminiscent. It's not representative of what the actual game, competitive gameplay of the game is, uh, because you can't even do half the moves. Like, charge characters can't even do charge moves because you can't charge backward and then forward. If you try to charge back, your character turns around, okay? So really, tonight will be my first flavor in what the game plays like in a one-on-one -on -one basis. And I'm curious to see how this turns out, okay? This should be a little bit more interesting, I think, than the RPG mode, just being honest with everybody. So I hope you'll join me tonight for my first late-night stream of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Now, FYI, moving forward, <clears throat> Grand Blue Fantasy Versus will be a late stream. More than likely, I'll be playing it one to two times a week as a late stream. Um, that's how it's going to progress moving forward. I'm probably not doing it again as a major stream. So just to forewarn everyone, um, you know, some people will be like, well, what happened to the game? It's, it's still going to be played. I didn't even get to a point where I played it enough to play a competitive match yet. But it's going to be a late stream moving forward. Okay, guys? So there you go. Tomorrow, we resume my Mega Man Zero coverage with Mega Man Zero 2 continuing in the collection. Um, I don't know how long Mega Man Zero 2 is. Mega Man Zero 1... I almost beat in one sitting, but the final stages took over two hours to beat, okay? So, I've only played Mega Man Zero 2 for, like, maybe 45 minutes. So, we'll see, you know, how, how well I do tomorrow, how far I get in it, okay? So, that's the focus of tomorrow's major gameplay stream. Tomorrow night, Monday night, it's my weekly Minecraft chill stream, which is the perfect way to end my streaming week. Um... You know, we're going to relax. We're going to do a little bit of work on the mob grinder. From what I understand, we're actually going to focus a little bit more on trying to get resources and start building of the egg sculpture that we're going to begin work on. And I'm going to reveal uh, another mini project that we're going to uh, eventually start work on. Um, maybe throw the idea out to the viewers and see what the viewers would like um, in regards to what's been requested. So we'll talk about that. We'll have a good chill stream Monday night on Minecraft, okay? <clears throat> Okay, um, Tuesday, I'm off. And I know you might be saying, what, you're off? Weren't you just off on Thursday? Well, I was, but that was an odd thing. And now we're trying to get back into a normal schedule where I'm, I, I have my, my regular days off again. So, Tuesday. Tuesday is my day off uh, this week, okay? No streaming, but I'll be back on Wednesday with more Mass Effect 2 on the main gameplay stream. 
And then Wednesday night will be the continuation of Morrowind. Okay, so more Morrowind coming up on Wednesday night. For those who really like the Morrowind stream so far, <clears throat> I kind of feel like the Morrowinds are like baby steps. All right, what I mean by that is I don't really understand the systems of the game at all. I, I you know, I'm really just a noob when it comes to this game. And you guys are doing your best to help me to try to understand what I'm doing, but <laughs> uh, it's tough. Let's put it that way. It's daunting. It's challenging because the game is nothing like the modernized Elder Scrolls games. It's very comp complicated. It doesn't hold your hand whatsoever. <clears throat> okay. Um, so I feel like every time I play this game, I'm learning just a tiny bit more. Um, last night, I, I completed a few quests and really was wandering around lost, not knowing what the hell to do. For an extended period of time, even the people helping me in the stream, I was still confused, okay? <clears throat> but, I definitely uh, made some progress. I'm looking forward to more this Wednesday night, okay? And yes, much like I said, Grand Blue is going to be probably around one to two times a week, late night. So is Morrowind, okay? Those are going to be my late night chill streams. It's going to be Grand Blue and Morrowind will be my late night chill streams. Mixed in with my weekly chill streams, which is Throwback Street Fighter and Minecraft. Okay, so now you guys know, at least in the short term, you need you know what to expect as the late night chill stream stuff. Okay, <clears throat> good stuff. Then on, on Thursday, we continue on with Mega Man Zero. Now, I don't know if I'll have gotten far in Mega Man Zero 2 tomorrow or not, but I'm hoping to maybe finish up Mega Man Zero 2 on stream on Wednesday. If we start up another game, great. If not, you know, we don't have to. But we'll see how Thursday goes, okay? That's the mainstream on Thursday. And then Thursday night, um, it's going to be more Grand Blue Fantasy, all right? My next stream of Grand Blue Fantasy will be Thursday night. Then on Friday, we got the big new release <clears throat> uh, of, that of this week coming up. Just to forewarn everyone, we're going to have pretty much major new releases every week moving forward for the next couple of months. This week, it's Neo 2. So for those of you who've been dying to see me play a Dark Souls-esque game, and you're like, where the hell is the Dark Souls gameplay? The game that's crippling to Phil, and he dies a million times, and he suffers, and we laugh, and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's coming up this week, starting on Friday, okay? Neo 2, finally beginning, all right? So hopefully you guys will be excited for that, and come out and check out the streams of that, starting up. And then, what's going to happen is, when we start with Neo 2, <clears throat> the Mega Man Zero Collection will go on hiatus. I'll, at that point, I've played it at least three or four major times. We'll have gotten through probably at least two of the games in the collection. Uh, I had no intention of playing the entire collection from start to finish at this point. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What we'll do is we'll save the rest for later this year, when undoubtedly there'll be some time for filler to content and downtime content between other major releases, and we'll play it then. So that way the game will have we gotten good traction in it, but it won't overstay its welcome as other new releases will be coming out to take its place. So, starting this Friday, Neo 2, and I'm probably going to play Neo 2, I'm thinking two days. I'll probably play it Friday and Saturday <clears throat> as the major gameplay stream. Okay, Friday night, it'll be Throwback Street Fighter. Saturday night, it'll be more Morrowind. Okay, so that's what you can expect those nights. And then probably Sunday, we'll swing back to Mass Effect 2. And then probably Sunday night, it'll be more Grand Blue Fantasy. And then on Monday, uh, probably more Neo paired with Minecraft. And then that's my next day off right there. So there you go, guys. There's a good explanation of what you guys can expect <clears throat> um, coming up in the next full week of streaming. I pretty much just covered, you know, week to week exactly what you can expect. Now, keep in mind, later this month, there's a lot of other stuff coming out there. We've got Doom Eternal as well as Animal Crossing New Horizons, both coming out on the 20th, I believe, same day. Uh, and what's going to happen then is Doom Eternal is going to obviously make it into the main streaming uh, times. And uh, Animal Crossing is going to end up being a chill stream. So more than likely by the time that comes out, I will calm down a little bit, maybe on, say, Grand Blue. So it won't be played as often. Um, and then, of course... We have a DLC coming out later on in the month. It's supposed to be the first major DLC for Control. And I'm going to get it because I already have the season pass, so it's free for me. So I'm definitely going to check it out. Um, I'm not in any rush to. No one really, I'll be honest, no one really liked the Control playthrough, which is sad because I thought that it was one of the best plots of last year. 
Um, but the gameplay was kind of lackluster, so it wasn't the most entertaining playthrough to watch. Um, but I'm interested in this DLC, and I am going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to rush to do it. We'll have to see what's going on with the rest of the gaming schedule and everything. So that's going to be coming up end of March. Early April. We got the Resident Evil 3 remake. I believe that's April 3rd. Okay. And then I believe right after that, <clears throat> on the 7th, is the Final Fantasy 7 remake. So within one week, and by the way, between there's my birthday on the 6th. So <laughs> we got a lot of crazy stuff going on, man. <clears throat> All these big high profile new releases that are coming out that we got to kind of, you know, juggle and, and play on stream, which will be a lot of fun. But then we got more new releases, high profile new releases coming out right at the beginning of April. So pretty crazy, man. Um, these next few months, right? This next week, month to two months, it's going to be jam-packed full of, of stuff. <clears throat> so I hope that you guys will uh, join me for all the fun. Okay? Good stuff coming out. All right. All right, folks. So there you go. I'm um, just trying to think, is there anything else I want to cover before we move on to the next segment of the pre-stream? Uh, anything else important? Uh... No, not, nothing was really jumping to mind right now. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Again, I apologize. <clears throat> Being that uh, my stupid allergies, I believe, are starting to act up. I already sneezed this morning, screwed up on my sinuses. So, All right, guys. Let's move on to the gratuitous plug, shall we? Thank you for 11 awesome years that I've been a content creator and been able to share my daily gameplay experiences with all of you. Thank you for hanging out with me on a daily basis. I really do appreciate the fact that after 11 years, you guys still care about me. You come by, you hang out with me on a daily basis. We have great gameplay, uh, you know, to share. We have great interactions. It's pretty awesome, okay? That being said, the ride has not been a smooth one whatsoever. There have been ups, there have been downs. Um, you know, today I'm a full-time streamer. Unlike the back of the day when I used to be a full-time YouTuber and used to be all about views on YouTube and ad revenue, today it's about crowdfunding. It's about you guys coming and supporting me on my live streams. That's how I make ends meet. That's how I pay for everything. That's how everything happens. So that being said, thank you to anyone who does come by the streams and support me in any way, shape, or form. That is very much appreciated, okay? Um, <coughs> I realize I'm one of the luckiest guys on the planet because I get to do what I love for a living. I get to play games and share those experiences with all of you. Hang out with you. Have a good social interaction every single day. And it's fun as hell. And that's my job. You know? I appreciate that. I know not many people get to do what they love for a living. I'm very grateful. And I know how lucky I am. Okay? So thank you for that. And allowing me to do that. And continue to do that. Um, in just a moment here, I'm going to outline some of the ways that you can support my efforts to keep doing this. And allow me to keep doing what I love for a living, all right? But that being said, before we even get to that, one thing that I want to say up front, okay, is that contributions are greatly appreciated, but they're not mandatory, all right? Please understand, I consider anyone who comes by my stream to, uh, to you know, contribute in any way, shape, or form as going above and beyond just being a standard stream viewer, okay? My streams are free on Twitch. They always will be. That's the point. Um, it's not about making money it's about having a passion for gaming um being a lifelong gamer sharing those experiences with all of you on a daily basis that's what it's about um having fun and providing a place where you guys can relax and, and hang out and have a good time and kind of maybe escape those stresses of your real life and not have to worry about that crap while you're here all right now it's my mentality that if we're having a good time and everything's going good and i'm putting out an entertaining stream then you know the income will come as a part of that. It's not expected that anyone comes by and contributes. It's not uh, demanded. It's not mandatory at all. But it is very much appreciated. Okay? So thank you very much to anyone who does come by and contribute in any way, shape, or form. But I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, I come by full stream and it's absolutely required that we contribute. And if we don't, then I feel like the odd man out because I'm the one who didn't contribute. It's not the case. I'm happy to just have people come and hang out with me. Like I said, after 11 years... The fact that people still remember me and they find anything that I'm doing is pertinent to anyone is pretty amazing. <laughs> really outstanding. And thank you for that. Okay? Fair enough. Now, if you would like to go above and beyond, all right, and you would like to contribute in a way on today's stream to help this 
you know, continue to go. Um, allow me to talk a little bit about the ways that you can contribute, and uh, let's just get into that, okay? First of all, I want to open my window in my office. It's cold today, but at the same time, it's stuffy in here. So I kind of want to uh, open the window and make it a little bit uh, cooler in here. Hold on a second. A little less stuffy. Let's put it that way. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let us talk, my friends. First of all, uh, I have a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. This is a monthly pledge campaign where your pledges earn you personal perks depending on how much you've actually pledged. Um, I'm not going to go into massive detail about it because it's all publicly available there for you to review yourself and understand. Uh, thank you to anyone who does pledge to my current Patreon. <clears throat> okay. I appreciate that. Uh, give it a look for all the details on the website, okay? Now, I have a Teespring store where I sell all kinds of merchandise. It's primarily t-shirts, but there's other stuff there like hoodies and mugs and stickers and the like. It's good quality stuff. I can attest to it because I own a bunch of it myself. Um, it's a good way for you to get a collectible, and it helps me out if you buy something there. So check it out, okay? Teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP Gaming. Now, if you're here live on the stream, Okay, you may want to contribute in a way that's going to get you recognized and get you a little bit of interaction with me on the stream, right? So how can that happen? Well, if you either cheer with bits or you subscribe to the channel or you tip me, if you do any of those three things, I'm going to give you a live shout out on today's stream. Okay, now please understand your message that you send me must be in line with the rules of the chat. That means no insults, no derailing. No ginormous paragraphs that have nothing to do with anything. No song lyrics. You know what I mean? Like, it's at my own subjective discretion what I say and do on my streams. In general, most people who contribute, we have some good interactions and fun. But then every once in a while, you get a bad apple who wants to insult or get me to say something that gets me in trouble on Twitch. Or, you know, baiting, people trying to bait and stuff. <clears throat> I'm not going to take the bait, okay? Fair enough? Okay. Now. As you can see at the top of the screen, we have a stream stats leaderboard. All right. This leaderboard tracks things such as top cheerer and top tipper of a stream. So if you do contribute to a stream in that way, and you are the top cheerer or top tipper, you're going to get some extra recognition when I put your name up there manually. All right. There's two other leaderboards that run on Twitch. One is the top cheerer of the week, and one is the top sub gifter of the week. Now, these run weekly and end on Sunday. That means that tonight, these leaderboards shall reset. Okay. But... Today would be your last day to get in if you want to cheer or you want to get the sub. You want to get up on that leaderboard for the week. <clears throat> Take your rightful spot as the top contributor. You can do that as of today. Uh, those will reset overnight back to zero for tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we're actually going to read those out in just a moment uh, in order to give uh, credit to those who have contributed this week. So, <coughs> excuse me. Thanks to anyone who, uh, you know, cheered or gifted subs this week. I'll give you some credit in just a moment. Ah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, I just mentioned a lot of stuff, guys. I did. And you might be saying, well, Phil just mentioned a lot of stuff. I wonder, what's the best way to contribute and help out Phil if I really want to? Um, you know, with so many ways to contribute. The best way to contribute is by tipping me. When you tip me, I get those funds immediately. That means I could put them towards the cost of a game coming up. I could put them towards a bill behind the scenes. I could put them towards paying taxes. I could put it towards a grocery grocery shopping list this week when I go out on Tuesday. It goes towards things that are necessities that I need to spend money on right now. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm certainly not saying that if you cheer or if you sub or if you buy something from my Teespring, etc., that those things don't help. They absolutely do, but those are ways to support in the long term. All those ways have a lead time or a processing time before I see any positive benefit from them. Um, but if you contribute via tipping, I get that immediately. So if you want to help out the most, I would suggest tipping me. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm appreciative of all contributions that come in on the stream. And I want to say thanks to anyone who even considers contributing in any way, shape, or form. Now, if you want to tip me, all right, there's some stuff you should know. There's two ways you can tip me. Below the stream, there's a tip star button, or you could type exclamation point tip into the stream chat, and either way will take you to my PayPal tips page. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
excuse me, while on that page, you can either tip me by using a registered PayPal account, if you happen to already have one, or you could just use a major debit or credit card in order to uh, tip me as well. Now you may say, but wait a minute, I don't see that option. Well, if you don't, what you need to do is load that page on the desktop version of the site. So if you're on a mobile device, you may have to enable it to load the full desktop version. If not, you need to have to go on a, a desktop computer. But those options do exist. I just checked it a few days ago, and they did pop up for me. Um, you can make a payment uh, with a debit or credit card via tipping, much like anything else you do on the Internet. Okay, guys? So thank you very much for even considering it. Again, I appreciate your support today. Um, and thanks very much for, for, you know, for coming out and hanging out with me. All right? Now... One thing I would like to say is a public service announcement, guys. Please be careful what kind of information you have out there on the internet. Be careful about putting your identity out there. There are malicious parties on the internet, folks, that want to hurt you. I hate to say that, but they are. They're out there, these people <clears throat> who just kind of look to get a rise out of people or to hurt people anonymously. Just because they can. There's no end game design here. It's not like, oh, if I harass this person online, eventually I'm going to extort them for money. Or, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to see this. They don't get any positive, concrete benefit out of harassing people. They just do it because they can. Okay. I know that sounds really messed up. Because <clears throat> to people like you and me, you're like, I don't understand what the point of that is. But the thing is, for normal people, there is no point. A normal person wouldn't want to just harass an, an anonymously another person they don't know online. But these people aren't normal people. A lot of them are messed up in the head. This is how they get their jollies. This is their social interactions by fucking with people over the internet. As dumb as that sounds, these people do exist. Okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the thing is I'm looking out for you guys. I want to make sure that you guys don't get harassed online. You may not realize the amount of information that you may have out there publicly on the internet. Including... Via just social media, you can probably find things out like your friends or your family, the places you hang out, the places you work, etc. And just basic info like that can be mobilized against you in a negative way. So, if you're considering contributing during today's stream or anyone's stream, not even my stream in particular, but anyone's stream on Twitch, what you may want to try to do is protect your identity as much as possible. And in, in pertaining to my stream, one of the things I always suggest is that if you're going to tip me today... Do one of two things. Either tip me anonymously. That way no one can know it's you because you just say anonymous and no one can tie that to you. Or completely make up a name, a name to use when you tip. You know, something maybe pertinent to the game, Mass Effect, or, you know, something just in general that has nothing to do with you or your real life name or persona or even your online persona that may tie to your social media. Do what you can to disassociate yourself from your real life information so that way people can't use that to harass you online. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just throwing that out there. Please protect yourselves. I'm looking out for you guys. I don't want anyone to get harassed online because of something that happens on a stream. So please do what you can to be diligent and make sure that <coughs> people don't come after you for nonsense. Okay, <clears throat> fair enough. Alrighty, guys. So, moving on. What I'd like to now do is address the rules of the stream because I like to maintain a certain chill vibe on my stream that we're going to outline in just a moment. But first of all, please understand that I'm streaming on Twitch.tv. This is a business, and therefore I must abide by all the rules and regulations of said business. I can't just say and do whatever the heck I want on my streams. I have to listen to the rules of Twitch. Please understand that and know that. That's why the rules uh, are in effect. In addition to that, I have this chill vibe that I like to maintain, okay? <clears throat> this vibe is as follows. I want people to be able to come by my stream and relax have a good time, and basically escape all the stressful nonsense of their real lives. I want you to find this place as a place where you can, uh, you know, have a good time and, and just chill. See my honest reactions <clears throat> to whatever game I'm playing. <clears throat> Maybe have some interactions with me, have some interactions with other people in the stream chat, and, uh, you know, isolate yourself from all the nonsense and the drama of real life. That's the whole point of the stream. It's an escape. It's a fun place, right? Therefore, I try to keep drama and toxicity and nonsense off the streams as much as possible because that's the whole thing we're going for. You know what I mean? So that being said, <clears throat> please understand that. All right? And please know that there are a few rules that are my own personal rules that I abide by. I feel that <coughs> these rules help to maintain 
<clears throat> the chill vibe that I'm trying to maintain here on my streams, okay? So, first of all, there are two topics that I feel, in the 11 years I've been a content creator, they really tend to derail a stream chat, they really tend to cause arguments, and in general, they have nothing to do with gaming. Those topics are politics and religion, folks, and especially right now, politics is a white, hot topic in the United States, as people are vying for position to become candidates for president, <clears throat> and everyone has an opinion. And that's fine. This is just not the place to vocalize that opinion, okay? Being very honest with all of you. Um, whenever we start talking about politics or religion in the stream chat, I find people start arguing with each other. They get toxic. They start insulting each other. They can't agree to see from another person's perspective. And in general, they derail the stream. I'm going to be playing Mass Effect today, and I don't want to turn back to the stream chat and see people arguing about Biden versus Bernie and stuff like that. Like, who cares? Here, they, here we don't. There's plenty of places in real life you could talk about that stuff outside of my streams, okay? And I certainly appreciate that people maybe find us a place where you can have, you know, discussions. Just not something that's going to completely derail <clears throat> all the stuff on my streams, okay? So please understand that, all right? Um, so, all that being said, guys, um, you know, if we're playing a game, and the game has a political discussion or uh, religion as a topic in the game. That's a little different. If it's in context of what we're actually doing in a game, then that's allowed and that's perfectly fine. But in regards to actually, you know, talking about these off-topic stuff that has nothing to do with the game I'm playing, please keep it to a minimum and let's not do it. It's derailing. Now, in addition to that, I'm well aware there's people out there on the internet who hate me and want to basically tear me down on a daily basis, causing... All kinds of drama and controversy, fabricating stuff, twisting the truth, telling half-truths, defaming me, slandering me, both myself and my family members, harassing me constantly. These people are no-life idiots. These people don't deserve any of my attention or time. These people have found a way to ride my coattails to try to get personal uh, gain. <clears throat> They're pretty toxic people, quite frankly. They're not my kind of people, that's for sure. You know, I'm a positive content creator. I focus on playing games and having fun and sharing that experience with you on a daily basis. I don't want to talk about all that disgusting nonsense that happens outside my streams because it's none of anyone's business. Uh, my personal life, that's for sure, that they always try to delve into. Um, but in addition to that, um, I'm just not that kind of person. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to deal with their little kitty bullshit. So that being said, all right, please understand I'm well aware these people exist. <coughs> but... We don't need to be talking about them on my streams. Sometimes we get people who innocently come into a stream and they'll be saying things like, oh, did you know this guy's restreaming you? Oh, did you hear what this guy said about you? No one gives a fuck. I mean, being honest, anyone with a brain doesn't care what these toxic people do. Let them make their toxic drama content all over the internet. Let them waste their time and let all the, the morons go watch their crap and leave that stuff out of my stream. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want to know about it. This is a positive stream where we have fun. All right? So please understand that. And know that if you do derail the stream to try to stir up drama, you're going to get out of here fairly quickly. That's the whole point of having these rules in place to make sure that we don't waste our time with this crap. In addition, <clears throat> bringing that stuff up derails the stream. We're having a fun time with a game. Who the fuck wants to talk about some asshole outside the stream who's insulting me, right? Um, you're giving undue attention to someone who doesn't deserve it if you bring that stuff up on the stream, all right? There's many reasons why we don't do it. So please understand it's against the rules. Let's not talk about that crap. Let's focus on fun gameplay and good positive stuff. Okay? <clears throat> good stuff. Fair enough. All right, guys. So, uh, I think I've covered everything now. Now we can actually move on to the third and final segment of pre-stream, which is the thank you shout-outs, where we say thanks to everyone who contributed. We do a little bit of updating of the leaderboards. We have a little bit of fun discussion. Um... You know, before we actually jump into gameplay. So let's do that right now. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Froggins, who did a 50-bit cheer. He says, overnight, oh, overnight he did a 50-bit cheer. Excuse me, I said that backwards. Overnight he did a 50-bit cheer. He said the following. <clears throat> I just saw Konami has announced the TurboGrafx-16 Mini has been delayed until further notice because of the coronavirus. They took the listing off of Amazon. You cannot pre-order it anymore. I'm look, I was looking forward to seeing you play that. Well, first of all, I wasn't aware of that. I wonder, What I'm wondering is, 
if you pre-ordered it, did they cancel the pre-orders? Because it's very possible. Because on Amazon, you could pre-order something and you don't have to prepay for it. When you pre-order it, you don't pay till the thing processes and ships. So it's very possible they canceled everyone's pre-orders. Um, that's pretty sad. <clears throat> Seriously, that sucks. Turbo Graphics 16 was a very interesting console that had a lot of unique games for it. I was very much looking forward to possibly getting it. Now, I can't. You know, I wasn't going to get it myself. I said, "Hey, if anyone wanted to donate it for my streams, <clears throat> I'd put it up on my Amazon wish list." Um, I guess it's not going to happen now. Um, I don't. You know, who knows? You know, this coronavirus affecting so many things already. There's all over the world. There's public gathering events like concerts, festivals, um, conventions that are being canceled. All around the world, okay, because of this. And what else is going to be publicly affected? You know, this is another thing. I guess what they're saying is, I guess they were worried about, I don't know, production of the unit. I don't know how people coming to work affected the, with the coronavirus unless, I don't know, who knows where the workforce was making that, right? <clears throat> so, uh, that sucks. For those especially who maybe had already pre-ordered it and were planning on, you know, playing those awesome games. Sounds to me like uh, we're all screwed. So that really stinks. And sorry to hear that. Thank you for the cheer and thank you for letting us know Froggin. So I guess TurboGrafx-16 Mini may come out in the future, but it ain't happening anytime soon, I guess. <clears throat> that stinks. Okay, Frosty the Snail Man. Resubscribe to the channel for five months. Thank you for five months to support Frosty the Snail Man. I appreciate that. Um, Dragon Quest fan. Got stuff going here today. With a $20 tip. Thank you very much, Dragon Quest fan. Let me get you up on the leaderboard there. That's very generous of you. That's a, a fairly large tip for this early in the stream, so thank you very much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. And basically, he says in his tip, Hi, on that Anonymous. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you very much, Dragon Quest fan, for the tip. I appreciate that. Um, excuse me. Mr. Papa Vera actually did the very first cheer of the day. He did a 50-bit cheer, and he says, Technically, we time travel forward in time and still no flying cars or hoverboards. Uh, right. <clears throat> I believe he's referencing the Back to the Future series. Because in the Back to the Future series, which was made in the 1980s, or was it 90s? I always forget Back to the Future if it came out in the 80s or 90s. <clears throat> it was right along that same time frame. But they travel to the future, and in the future, which already happened, according to, you know, to the date that they said, it was like 20, I think it was like 2017 or something like that. Right, there were hoverboards, <clears throat> self-tying sneakers, giant 3D projections of movies outside of theaters. It's pretty zany, you know, to think that that's what they were they were for foreseeing as being in the future. And, you know, that was, what, 30 years into the future? Or something like that? So, pretty crazy. Um, and that stuff never happened, really. You know, we have... Hoverboards exist, but not really. They're not real hoverboards. What is they? They have these, these technology to make it work, but it eats so much energy, it's not worth it. Uh, Self-tying sneakers, I believe they actually made a commemorative set of them that you could buy for an exorbitant amount of money, but obviously no one's buying those in a practical sense, right? <clears throat> so, the future is now, but is it as great as we've imagined? I guess not. <laughs> All right, Devin D's, tip me a dollar, I'm, I'm new here, why am I banned? Fix this. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, um, Devin D's. First of all, I don't know what your name is and uh, on Twitch, <clears throat> and I don't know... How you could be banned if you've never chatted, that's pretty much impossible. It's not like we go out of our way to auto-ban people. Uh, I don't even know how to do that. So, if that's the case, uh, contact me. <clears throat> okay? Uh, DarkSafeFillHotmail.com, give me your details, I can look into it. But I need to have your name in order to see if I, you need to be unbanned or not. I don't understand the situation. Okay? Alright, um... PW Dubs to me a dollar thirty. He says, in your opinion, would I consider would you consider making me a temporary mod? Would I consider it? Yes. Uh, am I guaranteeing it? Hell no. I'm not guaranteeing anything. What I want to do is see who will apply. Um 
and, you know, weigh and balance my options and carefully consider them and then make a decision based on who applies and what's available, okay? So by all means, if you're interested, you know, apply, but I, I'm not going to guarantee you anything, and please don't expect anything either. <clears throat> you know, we'll see how it goes, okay? And also, another thing, if you apply to be a mod and you don't get accepted, please don't take it personally. It's not that I, oh, uh, I don't find this person trustworthy or whatever. That's not the case. There are many factors that go into it, okay? All right. How do you apply for mods as Ninstar Rune? Email me, darkstarfillahotmail.com. Let me know your name on Twitch. Let me know the times that you watch my streams, when you'd be available to moderate. Uh, I talked about this earlier on the stream. If some of the people are just coming in right now, that Anonymous is stepping down as a permanent mod as of tonight. So we're looking for a couple temporary mods to come in for coverage purposes and help make up for the times when he used to mod. So that's why I need you to email me with your information. Chances are, if you're a stream regular who I recognize and I trust, you have an increased chance of becoming a trial mod versus someone who I've never heard of or is a lurker or doesn't talk. See what I mean? But email me and let's talk about it, okay? <clears throat> okay. That Anonymous gives it a sub to Arcatia. Congratulations to Arcatia. Hopefully you enjoy that subscription. And thank you, That Anonymous, for the support as always. All right, Baldy did 100-bit cheers. He said, Hello, Phil. Hope all going, is going well and looking forward to some Mass Effect 2 fun. Me too, Baldy. Every time I play this game, I do have a ton of fun. It's fun replaying it 10 years later. <clears throat> oh, DRS Gangsta. So uh, if you're if you're coming in here as well, uh, I said this earlier. Um, if you already previously applied to be a mod and you didn't get picked, you can reapply. And I even said some people who had previously applied, I don't have your emails anymore. You should please, if you're interest, still interested, please reapply. So I don't know if you're still interested, but if you are, please reapply. Okay? And you'll be considered. I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, just because I applied once and Phil didn't immediately pick me that I'm out of the running. That's not the case at all. <clears throat> and in fact, you know, I get caught up with so many emails and everything that chances are I don't even have that information anymore. So by all means, if you're still interested, please reapply. Okay? All right, anyway, getting back on topic. Yes, Baldy. First of all, you're the biggest cheer of the day. Thank you for the 100 bits. I love Mass Effect 2. Uh, this is only the second time I'm playing it in a decade. In the uh, sessions I've done so far, I've really enjoyed the game. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And now we're finally going to get into DLC content today, which should be pretty fun. Okay? Good stuff. All right, let's continue, shall we? Uh, Justin Bieber, the, the real Justin Bieber... He's actually here. He tipped me a dollar. And he says, Do you remember the video where you hired Tim Schafer to develop Project 7, the video game? Isn't a troll tip? It's actually true. Yes. I did hire him. And he's developed the game for us. And it's going to come out uh, in 2057. At least that that would be on pace with the, the, the work ethic and the, the amount of work this guy does with his games that he develops. So, by the way, it'll only be about a quarter finished, but it'll still be released at full retail price. <clears throat> <clears throat> so there you go. Thank you, Justin Bieber, for the dollar tip. Uh, Mark C609 to me $5, and he blatantly insulted another streamer slash content creator. Um, I appreciate the $5 tip, Mark. I do. Thank you for the support. But I said my piece on this particular person. I don't want to uh, continuously bring them up in my content uh, because it's just going to stir more drama, which I'm not about, and I don't want that shit in my, uh, uh, in my content. So... I thank you for the tip. Certainly the, sen the sentiment resonates with me, of what you're saying, but I'm not going to say that on my stream. I'm sorry. But thank you very much for the $5 tip. Big Pimp Wendy's Chili. <clears throat> tip me a dollar. He says, what is a piece of arcane DSP lore you suspect no one knows about? Oh, man. Arcane lore no one knows about. Oh, shit. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I just think... What's, because <laughs> the thing is, so much shit has been said about me over the years. I don't even know if I could possibly think of something that people haven't, had, you know, something ludicrous that people haven't said. I guess maybe I'm a vampire. Yeah, there you go. I'm a vampire. And that's why I don't, I, I, I'm at home streaming all day and I don't leave the house. <clears throat> it's actually because sunlight, you know, would burn my flesh and... That's why I'm, I'm kind of housebound, and I don't go out. Once, once a week I say I go out, what I do is I completely cover myself in uh, UV protective uh, goo, a cocoon I go out, right? 
and I protect my body in this goo to make sure that I don't get burned alive and melted. Okay, there you go. I'm a, you may not realize that. Okay? <clears throat> I'm, a vamp- I'm a vampire. Blah. <laughs> All right, whatever. Luke's Boner Films 2 took me a dollar. Thank you very much, Luke's Boner Films 2. I appreciate that dollar tip. I don't know what the hell a Luke's Boner Film is. And you know what? Quite frankly, I don't think I want to know. I just say thank you for your support. <clears throat> Cold087 is subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much, Cold Zero, for the sub. I appreciate that. Then he cheered 101 bits to become the top cheerer of the day. So I'll update the leaderboard here, but he says, Can you please turn on the camera when doing pre-stream? It gets boring watching the pictures the whole time. Thanks, friendo. My response to that is very simple. No! Why not? A couple reasons. First reason, because I like to have this this pre-stream stuff running. It's a way to advertise. That's one of the major points of pre-stream is advertisement. And for someone who is maybe coming by and is a first-time viewer or whatever, this, you know, maybe they're only going to watch the stream for a few minutes because they're coming by to see what it's all about and they see a few slides that explain stuff. Um, That's the point. Okay, so that's number one. I understand many of you are regulars and you don't need to see these slides every day, but that's not who they're really for, okay? <clears throat> that's number one, okay? Number two, what you may not realize is that I do the pre-streams completely in the nude. I'm always completely naked here on the stream while I do pre-streams. Then it, when I turn the camera on, I whip out some clothes here um, very quickly so that I don't get you know kicked off of Twitch, but... You know, doing pre-streams in the nude, I can't stream that. I'll be getting, getting into a lot of trouble. Okay, guys? Um, truth of the matter is, you guys see me on stream all day anyway. Why do you need to see me even longer? I don't understand that. Like, you know, I, why do you need to see me even longer? I don't. Why do you even want to see me at all? <clears throat> you know, I, for my, my choice, I'd be streaming with a bag over my head. No one wants to see that shit. You know, so I don't even understand why you guys want to see me more. I say the lesser the better. Remember, I used to not have a camera on at all. And then people started requesting, well, when you do Survivor Horror games, we want to have a camera to see your reactions. And then it was, oh, when you play From Software games, we want the camera on to see your reactions. And it was, oh, not any tough game we want to see reactions. Then it became, we just want to see reactions to everything. <clears throat> all right. So, no, I'm not turning a webcam on a pre-stream. I appreciate the contributions, but... You see enough of my ugly mug. You don't need to see more. Okay? <clears throat> Fair enough. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, an unprecedented move. Luke's Boner Films, too, has tipped me another dollar. Thank you very much, Luke's Boner Films. <laughs> Again, I don't know what that means, but thank you for the dollar tip. I don't want to know what it means. Okay. Um, Let's see here. Snow Carl tipped me a dollar. Um... So listen to this. Snow Carl says, tip me a dollar. He says, have you considered if Bernie wins? Each PW dubs of 200 monthly tips will be taxed 50% by the state, 30% by PayPal, leaving you with only 20 cents. Would this be an acceptable price for Medicare for all? <laughs> um, Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not very accurate. But thank you very much for the dollar tip, Snow Carl. I appreciate that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so it was another dollar tip. Shout out to Gabriel K.O., who resubscribed to the channel for three months in a row, but 36 months total. That is three years of support from Gabriel K.O. That means he earned himself the Rolls Gold Crown Chat Badge. <clears throat> so thank you very much, Gabriel K.O. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Ninstar Rune tipped me 100 bits. Tipped me 100 bits. What? That was completely incorrectly stated. Ninstar Rune did a 100-bit cheer, is what I meant to say. And he says the following. What's your thoughts on the last words of the Mass Effect trilogy being downloadable content? <laughs> well, it is what it is, I guess. Um, Yeah, you know, this is what happens. EA, right? But I think a lot of people have issues with the way that the Mass Effect trilogy ended. What can I say? Thank you for the 100-bit cheer. Polish Frogs took me a dollar. Can I become a mob before I apply? I want to see your opinion of me. Just a kind yes or no. <clears throat> All right. 
allow me to elaborate. Can you become a mod? Yes, there's always a possibility. Will you become a mod? Now that I can't answer. That I don't know. I have to I have to see who applies. I have to factor in many factors. <clears throat> weigh and balance many things in my head. Um, and on paper, scheduling I have to think about. So again, if you're interested in becoming a temporary mod, you have to email me at darksidefillahotmail.com, include your Twitch name, and let me know the times you're available to moderate. Fair enough? <clears throat> okay. Let's continue. Um, Infinite55 gifted a sub to Lip and Dab. First of all, good to see you, Infinite. How you doing, man? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the support. Lip and Dab, congratulations. I'm curious how we're doing on subs. I'll update that in a moment here. Crapcock did a 102-bit cheer to become the top cheer of the day. Thank you, Crapcock, for the cheer. Let's get you up there on the leaderboard. <clears throat> Oops. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, Crapcock. Crap, Crapcock. I screwed your name up. Um, the Donald tipped me a dollar. She says, don't worry. PW Dubs is going to win. Your tips will be safe under my administration. Wow, there you go. Trump wants to protect the wealth. Bernie wants to take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're not going to get into politics. I'm just joking, by the way. Thank you to Donald for a dollar tip. Okay. Um, so, a few final things before we jump uh, to the end of the pre-stream here. What I'd like to do <clears throat> is I would like to give a shout-out to the top 10 cheerers of the week. Thank you very much to the following people who cheered this week and contributed. I appreciate your support. And at top, triple tie for 8th, we have K-Styles, 1998, Big D's, and Electron Vol. 7th place is Crap Cock. 6th place, RTU Streams. Yeah, come on my podcast, bro. No. 5th place, Ninstar Rune. 4th place, Hemonoma. 3rd place, Delancius. 2nd place, Mature Adults with Biz Degree. And in 1st place for this week, Old Yeller for the win. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for the support. Now, also, thank you to the following people who all gifted subs to the channel this week. We have Homie the Clown, I Killed Phil 4x8, Kate, Eternal Napalm, and Kamai Shark 101 who all gifted a single subscription to the channel. Thank you guys for the support. Then we've got Yeah4335, who gifted two subs. Guitar Player1939, who gifted two subs. Big Papa Phil this week gifted four subscriptions. And then, two people <clears throat> went above and beyond and did some nice stuff. Both Golden Nobles and Cliffy Bureau gifted ten subscriptions each this week. Thank you guys for trying to help. In fact, what I'd like to do now is see how many subs we're at. Now that we've gotten through pre-stream and some people subscribed, we're at 668 subs. So we did go up a few. Thank you, guys. We're less than 10 subs away from hitting the subscriber goal for the month, which is outstanding. Thank you, guys, for that. All right. DSP Embroiled Turtleneck. <laughs> Tip me a dollar. He says, when will you be playing the Disney Afternoon Collection? We want to get a Tailspin remix to go with your DuckTales song. Um, I own the Disney Afternoon Collection. I bought it at a very discounted rate. I think it was like a couple bucks. So I bought it when it was on that sale on PSN. <clears throat> and indeed, I could download and play it whenever I want. Um, <clears throat> I haven't really found an ample opportunity to do so yet. Uh, I may consider moving on sometime this this year when it's a uh, when it's a you know more slow time for game releases that I will play it. However, right now I have more than enough game content, more than enough game content uh, to put on my streams. So I'm good. But I'll consider it for later this year, okay? All right, guys. That's going to be it for the pre-stream. Thank you very much. I have to use the bathroom. So I'm going to take a few minutes here to use the bathroom when we come back. Mass Effect 2 continuing on with the Ilium. And I certainly hope that you guys uh, <clears throat> will join me for the Ilium fun. Uh, but I'm going to take a quick break here to use the restroom. I'll, I'll put some music on for you guys since uh, some people seem to like that during this little mini break that we take. So thank you. I'll be back in a moment. More. See you in a bit.